Hi everybody, we're going to look at modeling a pillow in Maya. Alright, so first I'm going to start with a cube and kind of make like a little bit of a rectangular shape here. And it's going to be pretty thin to begin with. So something about like that. Um, just going to maybe just shrink. Okay, so now uh, we're going to add some divisions, so make sure you select it on the button right next to here, next to the, the man with the T-pose. We're going to go to the Attribute Editor, and I'm going to be looking for Polycube, and we have subdivisions. So I'm going to make this 10, and we'll make it 10 in depth as well. And for the height, I'll make it 5. Okay. So what we're going to do is inflate this pillow. So to do that, we need to convert it to end cloth. So I'm going to be looking for, I believe, the FX tab. So over here, drop down from modeling to FX. I'm going to come over to end cloth. And while the shape is selected, I'm going to go to end cloth, create end cloth. OK, you'll notice that we have an end cloth and we have a nucleus that adds to this shape. So I'll start with end cloth, and uh, we're going to look for uh, the end cloth. We're going to start with the end cloth shape one here, and we're going to look at pressure. And the pressure I'm going to inflate with something like a maybe a 0.5. Okay, and then if I click over a few times, find the nucleus tab, and we have gravity. So what will happen is this this will actually fall. If we press play now, we don't want it to have gravity, we just want it to, to inflate. So I'm going to make that a zero. And to make this inflate, we're just going to press play in the timeline. So right over here, I'm going to press play, and you can see we're inflating a pillow. Now you can inflate this as much as you want. You can add to that pressure under the end cloth shape tab over here. So let me show you if I did a 10, rewind and play, let's see. You know what, I don't, maybe I didn't uh, press, yeah, press enter. Okay, so let's try that again. There it goes. <laughs> so you can kind of see it's a little bit too much. 0.5 was enough for this. <laughs> I'm going to rewind and play. Okay, good. So what you can do is pause it when you feel like it's okay. Or scrub your timeline. Sometimes you can scrub the timeline a bit. But I'm, I'm going to rewind, play again, and pause it when I feel like I have a good shape. Alright, so I'm going to pause it here. Now let's start to look at making this a little bit more realistic. <laughs> I'm going to look for edge mode. And before I begin, actually I'm going to go back to object mode, and I'm going to tell this to not be animation anymore. And to do that, select on the pillow, and we're going to come up to create uh, Nope, modify, no, uh, oh, hold on, it's under um, um, edit, edit, delete by type history. So now we've deleted its history. It doesn't remember that it's part of, so it doesn't seem like it worked. Oh, it did, okay. So it doesn't remember that it was part of an end cloth anymore. And notice if I press play, nothing will happen. It's just become a model now. So. Let's start to um, add some details. I'm going to hold down right click and go to edge mode and I'm going to click on one edge and double click the next one in the row and if it should select this all the way across, I'm going to do the same here, holding shift and double click that. I'm going to hold shift, double click and last one, du double click. Then I'm going to do it to the one below here Okay, select and double click the next. Okay, so uh, I'll just go in wireframe. You can see I have the edges selected all the way through, and I'm going to bevel. So back to modeling, edit mesh bevel, and that's pretty good. Um, but you can raise up that fraction point. Seven, just you can see how we're adding just a little bit of a 
beveled edge over here. I'm going to go back to 0.5. I'm going to select the face mode, and what I want is now these faces, and I believe that, get, that gets it all the way around, so what I wanted. I'm going to do the same for this one, and we're going to kind of bevel it out. We're going to make the seam of the pillow. So I'm going to press uh, extrude, and a little blue arrow here. I'm just going to extrude this out. I'm going to take a closer look as I do this. And I believe that should be fine. Okay. Go back to object mode. So I have this. And if I press 3, I can see what this looks like smooth. And you can see I got a nice little shaped pillow here. Now that's only a preview smooth. If I press 1 and 3, 1 and 3 on the keyboard goes back and forth. 2 would be a, a hybrid of the two. You can see a wireframe hard edge mode. Uh, if I press 3 or press 1, go back to hard edge mode, I'm going to go to mesh smooth to finish this off. And this will smooth it for real. Now you could smooth that again or you can click on the smooth, the poly smooth here, and I can add an extra division level. I don't recommend it if you don't have a decent computer though. And you can kind of see now uh, I've added some resolution to this, and we have a finished pillow. Okay, good luck, and give it a try.